Are you a poor web developer? Are you not happy with your salary? Well, watch this video because we are going to fix this. I'm going to give you a very simple trick to boost your salary. If you are new here, I'm Julian and I used to be a poor web developer, but one day I made a change in my career, a very simple change, and I basically doubled my salary in a couple of months, and today I'm going to tell you what it is. So the thing is, if you are a web developer, you are sitting on a gold mine. You have already done most of the work, but you don't realize it. So let me share some typical stories from web developers. So meet John, a PHP developer. So he's been building WordPress website for five years. He is working 40 hours a week. He constantly deals with plugin conflicts and theme customization. And he makes $45,000 per year. Barely covers his rent in the city. He's stuck building the same crude application over and over wondering if this is all there is in his career and then there is sarah so sarah she is a javascript developer three years of experience she jumped from angular to vue to react always chasing the latest framework she spends her weekends learning new tools that become obsolete in months still stuck at sixty thousand dollars per year she cannot save anything after her bills her friends in marketing and sales are making more money with less stress and mike well mike is a full stack developer he does everything front-end, back-end, deployment, database management, makes coffee too, and he's very solid technically at his company. The whole team depends on him. His colleague and his boss are also very appreciative. Seven years of experience, $75,000 salary. These aren't just random examples. This is the reality for most web developers. As of me, I used to be one of these overworked and underpaid PHP developer. So I know the feeling. So why is this happening? Well, the market is really flooded. Everyone is learning web development. So you have bootcamp pumping out thousands of new developers every month. You have self-taught developer following free YouTube tutorials. You have college students with fresh computer science degrees. You have career changers that are looking for better opportunities. You have overseas developers willing to work for lower rates. So basically, web development has become a commodity. Supply and demand, simple economics, when everyone can do something, its value decreases. There used to be some web technologies better paid than other, for example, JavaScript and React. So in 2015, JavaScript and React started to become really hot, but not anymore. JavaScript is the new PHP. I'm sorry to say, but that's the truth. Everybody and their moms know it. The reality is that we are at the end of a cycle that started more than 20 years ago. When the internet was starting, there were very few web developers. Then VC money started to pour in. More and more companies started to build on the web. This caused a massive demand for web developer. And for a while, the market was good. But now we are at the end of a cycle. In 2024, just being a web developer is not good enough. So what can you do? You could ask for a raise. Sorry, not in the budget right now. Maybe next quarter, your performance needs improvement. We need to wait for the next review cycle. Sounds familiar? Another solution is to switch companies. Sure, you might get a 15% bump, for example, from 45,000 to 52,000 or from 60,000 to 69,000, still not life-changing money and you still need to make the effort to apply to a new company and get used to a new environment. You still need to keep learning new frameworks, Angular check, React check, Vue check, Next.js check, Tailwind check, result you are still competing with thousands of other developers who know the exact same tech stack. It's just a marginal improvement. You don't really solve the core problem, which is you are in a bad market and there's no way you can win. 
So here's the truth. You need to specialize in something hot. You need to leave the red blood market of web development. You need to become more unique. You need to stand out. And there are many ways to do this, but one of the smartest ways is to pick a hot trend. Like the saying goes, a rising tide lifts all boats. So now I know that you already have your web dev skills. You, you probably work very hard to get these skills. So it would be a shame to start from scratch, but you don't have to. What if you could find a new tech trend that exploits your current skills? Can we do that? Right now, there are two massive opportunities in the tech industry, AI and blockchain. Well, you could specialize in either of these fields. It's not an easy choice. Both options are really good. And there are even ways to combine them. Right now, there is a small advantage to crypto because with the recent boom of the crypto market, we see a lot of attention going back to crypto. The past two years, AI was the center of the attention. But I believe that in the next two years, crypto will make a big comeback. So what kind of salary can you make in crypto? As a junior blockchain developer, anywhere between $80,000 to $100,000 per year, mid-levels will take you between one twenty dollars to one fifty, dollars And for a senior, we can make one hundred fifty dollars to two hundred fifty thousand. dollars and you can go even beyond that uh, in some very specialized sub niche like. So the demand is pretty big. You have a lot of major companies that are building blockchain teams. You have banks that are desperate for blockchain developers. You have startups that are raising millions for blockchain projects. You have DeFi protocols that need blockchain developers. So you have less competition than on the web. For every 100 web developers, there is only one blockchain developer. Supply and demand works in your favor, but it's not even the most important. The most important is that you are sitting on a gold mine and you don't even know it. Most web developers are scared of blockchain. They think it's very complex. Few understand both web and blockchain. But here is the best part. When you are a web developer, you already know 90% of what is required to become a blockchain developer. I know it sounds surprising, but it's the reality. This is where it gets exciting. Let me break down a typical blockchain application, also called decentralized application or DAP. So you have a front end layer in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you already know this. React, Vue, Angular for the user interface, HTML, CSS for styling, JavaScript for interactivity, API calls to fetch data and connect to the blockchain. You have an optional backend layer, and you already know this. Node.js Express for API endpoints. Sometime you have a database. The only new layer is the blockchain layer. So from the front end or from the back end, you have an integration with the blockchain. This integration is done with web technologies. It's just regular API calls. And you already know this. You will have an integration with smart contracts, which are the small programs on the blockchain. This is the part that you don't know. The smart contract and the integration with them. But here's the thing. Here's the secret most people don't tell you. As a full stack blockchain developer, you don't need to create the smart contract. You just need to integrate with them. So it's a big chunk of complexity that you don't need to deal with. So what about the integration with smart contract? Well, you have to think of smart contracts like APIs. They have endpoints, so technically we call them functions. They accept parameters. They modify data, they return data, they have documentation, and they're already deployed and tested. And they are easy to use JavaScript libraries that do the heavy lifting like Web3.js or Ether.js. So to recap, 90% of blockchain development is creating beautiful front end, your existing skills, building robust backends, your existing skills again, and connecting to existing smart contracts that you can do by using libraries. So now what about AI? Well, I think a lot of developers are getting confused with what is AI. AI is not a category itself. AI is a 
tool. And as a tool, it will be used in many different use cases. And blockchain is one of these use cases. So you can combine AI and blockchain in your skill set. For example, you can use AI to generate some code for blockchain application. So you don't really have to choose between AI and crypto. You can just leverage AI to be a more productive blockchain developer. So don't stay stuck in the web development hamster wheel. You can have a massive career boost if you specialize in blockchain and it's not even that difficult. You already have most of the skills. And if you want to know what you need to learn in order to become a blockchain developer, check out my free roadmap. The link is in the description. All right, that's it for today. Bye.